Good morning, everyone. Thanks very much for joining us. As you know, we've been introducing you to the Democratic Party candidates for governor over the last few weeks. And this Sunday, we're turning to the Republicans. Former State Rep Jeff Deal has an open invitation to join us, and his campaign says they're working on it. But this week, we're talking with his only declared opponent in the Republican primary, Rentham businessman and first-time candidate Chris Doty. Chris, welcome. Good to see you. Thank you, John. And thanks for having me back. So uh, you've got four grandchildren, it said in your bio. What ages? So nine till one. Okay. So you've got at least a couple of them in school, right? Yes, we do. La last week, Governor Baker announced the state school masking mandate will be dropped uh, at the end of this month. And critics of that move say that with only 51% of kids aged 5 to 11 having received the vaccine and the future course of the pandemic still uncertain, that that's rolling the dice with the health of both the kids and school employees. Are you comfortable having your grandkids in an unmasked school environment? Well, first, my children are in Utah. They don't live out here. Um, and, uh, you know, we're Do they mask off. there? Uh, like us, they're on the off ramp. You know, it's it's a gradual. You know, we got into it, and we have to look at it as sort of a gradual evolution of the off ramp. Um, certainly, there are some communities where there's lower density; they could have a different sort of speed at which they come off than the communities that are higher dense. I think watching the statistics, you know, how how the uh, the infections are and the and the hospital rates are. I think we just watch the data, and I, it's. It's nice from my perspective to be on the off ramp, to be coming to the end of this phase. So you're not uh, one of those who says, you know, masks are an abomination, they've damaged kids, uh, they've been unnecessary, et cetera. Well, I think all of us, you know, we're all looking forward to this being in our rear view mirror. Um, so I think we have to be uh, understanding and compassionate and watch the data to figure out what is the best path. Um, you know, I was in a high school the other day and there were kids, uh, they were wrestling, um, but they were wearing masks. It, it looked a little unreasonable to me. And um, I was in another high school gym and there was, uh, the kids were playing basketball and they were like, you know, up on top of each other and they were all wearing masks. So it does feel like, okay, we're, we're hopefully coming to the end of this phase. Well, your opponent, Jeff Deal, has been an active participant in demonstrations opposing vaccine mandates like the one Boston has for public safety personnel. Are you also opposed to the Boston mandate? Yeah, you know, I, I, it sounds like they're coming to the end from what I'm reading, um, but, you know, from what Governor Baker said and, and uh, the mayor said, it uh, looks like we're coming to the end. So, you know, the exact day that we end and the exact time we end, ho hopefully all the policymakers are thoughtful and thinking through the right timing and we, we get it right. Because you want citizens to feel safe, but uh, not controlled. And so I think just finding that correct balance so that we can get to the, uh, the off ramp and get this behind us. Well, uh, that's I agree, that's tricky business, but where do you stand, Chris? Are you opposed to mandates that could cost you your job if you don't comply? Yeah, that, I, we don't want to be an unfriendly state. <laughs> we don't want to be the state that sends people away to other states. And we've already had too many citizens move out. I, I think we should say to the, the rest of the nation, hey, we're open for business. We, uh, we want citizens. We want to grow. And uh, we don't want to be unfriendly in any way to those that uh, have chosen not to um, get the vaccine or to... So, so just to be clear, you don't like... Uh, vaccine mandates uh, with uh, a potential loss of job as a consequence for not. Yeah, I would avoid that for sure. I would avoid okay. that. Okay.